If you have something that wants to lose electrons and something that wants to gain electrons, and you stick a meter in between the electron transfer, you can actually record a voltage um, for that, um, which is called a potential difference for that reaction. But the thing is, you know, half reactions themselves, you can't plug it like a meter into a half reaction and get a voltage. So, you know, where did this come from? Hydrogen is on our uh, uh, sheets generally, uh, the sheets being those redox charts and redox tables, generally is the one that is ascribed. And when I say that, I, that's what I mean. It is given and it is the standard by which we operate. This half reaction here, it, the hydrogen half reaction, is the standard by which all the comparisons take place. And it is ascribed to 0, 0.00 voltage. Everything else is relative to that one half reaction. So here's the thing. Um, that, I'm not going to say it was an arbitrary choice. It was a very good choice to make. But you could actually not have hydrogen be the standard and something else the standard. Now, before we get there, just look. I've got a copper half reaction here and the zinc half reactions here. And what their voltages are on the reduction table is that copper is 0.34 volts in a, as a positive, and the zinc half reaction as a reduction reaction is written with a reduction potential of negative 0.76 volts. Now, if you were to add these two reactions together, in order to make a spontaneous reaction, you would have to reverse this one, reversing the sign, and add it to this one in order to get the spontaneous reaction. So it would be this plus this makes this plus this, of course, these two electrons being able to cancel out. And you would get, as a net voltage for those two, or an E naught value, you would get for those two half reactions being added together, which would, would be positive 0.34 volts plus positive, you reverse the sign to the equation you need to, to flip around to make oxidation, reverse that sign and add it to this one, and you are going to get a total for that zinc-copper reaction of 1.10 volts. Yeah, sure. Now, here's a question that's classically asked on exams when you're dealing with this standard of hydrogen. The standard isn't hydrogen now. The question says, hydrogen is no longer the standard. Let's say that the zinc half reaction is ascribed the 0, 0.00 volt. Now, what would that make? What would that make the other half reactions on the chart? Well, if this one was given 0, 0.00 and the new standard was created, what happens to the hydrogen one? Well, what happens to every one of them? If you added 0.76 volts to this half reaction here <laughs> to make it zero, then you have to add 0.76 volts to every half reaction to make them their new voltage. So, this one, the hydrogen half reaction, would now become 0 0.76 positive volts. And, of course, adding that number to this right here, that 0.76, you are going to get 1.10 volts, which is the new, the new voltage for that reduction half reaction for copper. Now, here's the thing. You can also be asked the question, well, zinc is the new standard. Now, what is the voltage for that copper-zinc reaction? Well, if you look at it, the zinc, if you reverse it to add it to this half reaction, that's zero plus 1.10 volts still gives you that original 1.10 volts we had before. Look, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? That if everything changes by 0.76, then that means the voltage, or the net volt between an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent being added together is still going to be the same voltage. So sometimes that's like a trick question, right? So they'll say, the new standard is zinc. What is now the voltage of the zinc-copper reaction? Well, it's the same as it was before, so you don't have to alter everything. You just use your standard table to be able to figure it out.